Oh my god, so I'm in Jeju. I'm in my Airbnb slash hotel situation. So I'm going to give you an Airbnb tour. So when you first walk in from the door, you see this. And to the left is the bathroom. Very nice and big. Um, very different than mine from home. <laughs> And then here's a mirror. This is my outfit. I had a white button down over because the airplane was so cold. Then look at that. <gasps> look at a nice full bed, a couch, a TV, and look at this view. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. I've never experienced anything like this before. Like ocean front. I am just in love with it i am staying in jeju city and it was really close to the airport only like a like a 10 minute taxi ride and pro tip always use cacao taxi don't like stand in the taxi lines because those taxi drivers sometimes can try to scam you i flew with korean air um and i really enjoy korean air i flew with them to korea on my long flight to here it was only like an hour flight and i slept for the whole time and i actually got really lucky there was um like a family and there's too many kids in one row and so they asked me to um change seats and when i did it, i had the row the row all to myself and it was like the emergency um, door one, so it was extra room and I got the window seat because before that I was sitting on the aisle seat. The weather app lied to me. When I looked from home, it said it was going to be like 70. It's like 85 degrees here. The rush here though was not enjoyable. I didn't film any part of that because when I left home, I got on like a normal bus that I take um, to like a certain area in my town but then when i got off on the bus stop it was like in the middle of nowhere and i had to walk like a good like 10 minutes and i didn't eat anything i was planning on eating at the airport but because i had to walk longer i didn't like calculate that and so then i missed like the next bus when i finally got on the right bus to the gimpo airport it was just like a straight shot bus so it was really smooth but <laughs> i was so hungry and I was starting to get nauseous and it's also really hot. Now I am still starving because I haven't eaten anything and this sounds so American, but I got Starbucks. <laughs> the Starbucks is literally right outside my hotel and Jeju is like pretty like spaced out. So I don't want to hear anything. I am starving, okay? And also I wanted to try their drink. I don't drink coffee, but this is their like um, Jeju Ocean Kiwi drink and it's really good and then I got the ham and ricola sandwich tonight I think I'm just gonna explore this area I will show you and I will share the Airbnb I booked this maybe like a month and a half in advance normally it's booked out so I also got really lucky with this place because um, it's pretty affordable and I mean the view is just gorgeous so yeah, I will link that down below. So I'm going to charge my phone for a bit um, and just chill for a little bit on the bed. And then we're gonna explore this area. Okay, so now I'm gonna go get some early dinner. I'm gonna get some Mexican food. It's only a 20 minute bus ride away. And then after that, I'm gonna find a beach to sit on. Um, this is what I wore to the airport, except I wore my Converse because here in Korea, you don't have to take your shoes off for the airport security. But yes, I'm bringing in my water and my purse and I have my, what's it called? My charger because you never know what could happen here, <laughs> but yes, let's go.
I just woke up and it's my second day here in Jeju and I need to get ready quickly um, and I'm gonna go to this cafe I'm not sure if I'm gonna take the bus yet or take a taxi um, or I might just walk to one but I want to get some brunch and possibly take some cute pictures yeah I'm really excited for today I slept really well let's get the day started back from taking pictures and going to a cafe and a brunch spot um i'm so tired it's i think it's maybe 4 p.m but i'm going to take a nap um so yeah i'll check back in after my nap <laughs> 